It, I know we've got to get back to the Vikings, and we will in a moment, but in what possibly is the greatest bit of overkill I've ever seen <laughs> in the sports pages is the idea in the Pioneer Press today that tonight uh, we possibly will rectify the 73-year drought between back-to-back no-hitters. Yes, John so, Vandermeer. But this is very interesting. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going to learn something here. Mm-hmm. What the Pioneer Press did is reprint a story by a guy named Lou Smith who covered the second no-hitter. Okay. Special dispatch to the Inquirer. Okay. That's the Cincinnati Inquirer. Yes, right. Ebbets Field, Brooklyn, New York, June 15. Johnny Vandermeer, sensational 23-year-old fireballing port cider from Midland Park, New <laughs> Jersey. This is when people could write. Sounds like an Augie story. We had a lot of port ciders in Made there. baseball history tonight by pitching his second no-hit game in a row while turning back to Brooklyn Dodgers 6 to nothing before a capacity crowd of 38,748 in Larry McPhail's inaugural Mazda Opera here. Huh? This is where you're going to learn something. I, I got a great email Larry from Glenn Rennick. Mazda Opera. <clears throat> Today's Pioneer Press reprinted an article by Lou Smith, originally published June 16, 1938, in the Cincinnati Inquirer. I love the descriptions of old sports writers. The last few words in the very first sentence caught my attention. Before a capacity crowd of 38,748 in Larry McPhail's inaugural Mazda Opera here. Inaugural Mazda Opera? Uh Uh-huh. It turns out Mazda was a particular type of bulb used for the first stadium lights. Larry McPhail was general manager in Cincinnati three years earlier when the first night game was played at Crosby Field using Mazda lights. In 1938, he became president of the Brooklyn Dodgers and installed the same lighting there. So McPhail's inaugural Mazda opera here first night game. means the first <laughs> night game at Ebbets Field. I thought you guys might be interested. Thank you, Glenn Rennick. Is it that fascinating? Boy, you were counting on your readers to have some knowledge of the world, weren't you? Well, and I bet... I bet it wasn't that out of place because I bet it was such a big deal oh, lights, yes. in 1935 mm-hmm. to have a night game that every aspect of it was analyzed, including the style of light bulbs. Mazda. Well, in 19... Well, a lowercase m, yeah. by the way. In 1950, the Folded Giants, Joe, 1950, joined... They had, after a very successful 1949 season, they had a community uh, vote, a referendum, Mm -hmm. to build, to put lights up at the stadium. And I think it caught at the ballpark. And I think it cost 27,000, I saw on the clip. And it passed because they'd had a good year. So in 1950, they joined the first night league, Mm -hmm. meaning the first league in minnesota that every team had lights in 1950 this was 12 years early this is 1938 38 okay. the mazda opera i think that's writing 